Hello, I'm Roger Protz and this is my collaborator Adrian Tierney-Jones. Uh, we've been writing the book Britain's Beer Revolution, which comes out in October, which is celebrating the tremendous revival and expansion of beer in this country. And it's been an interesting experience, hasn't it? Cause Very. Yes. You're down in Somerset, yeah. I'm in Hertfordshire. We've been writing this at home, in trains, planes, hotel hotels. rooms, wherever <laughs> we can find a space, yeah. <laughs> wherever I can lay my hat. Yeah. But yeah, it's been wonderful, yeah. really, really enjoyable. I have learnt, I keep learning, you know, I've been mm. writing about beer for years, but yeah. I'm learning so much still, yeah. which is, you know, fascinating. It is astonishing. When you think back to the early days of Canberra, there were just 40 breweries yes. doing just mild and bitter. Now there's 1,400 <laughs> breweries, yeah. and the choice of beer is astonishing. Yeah. And this is particularly interesting. This beer is called Trooper, mm. brewed by Robinsons in Stockport, a very old One traditional great family, family breweries. breweries. Yeah. And they brew this not for the general populace, but uh, for Iron Maiden, a heavy metal rock group. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gone ballistic. It has. It's incredible. I was reading somewhere that they were selling loads in Brazil and everything. Yeah. Um, and it's Bruce Dickinson yes. was involved in the recipe, That's wasn't right, he? The lead, the lead singer. singer. Yes. Yeah. And occasional airline pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's a, you know, it's a great beer. Yeah, and it's full of those luscious sort of orangey, lemony flavours mm. from American hops, and it really very, is very refreshing. Drink. Yeah, yeah, very juicy. Yeah, very mm. yeah, quenching. But you'd never have thought 10, 20 years ago that Robinsons would have brewed a beer no. for a heavy metal rock group. No, it would have been all bitter and mild, and yeah. maybe the odd barley wine That's for right. some pub yeah. no one ever went to. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely fantastic how it's all changed. Yeah. Now, the other interesting revival, this is a brewer down your way, St Austell mm, in Cornwall, in Cornwall yeah. is the revival of India Pale Ale, exactly. IPA, which almost disappeared at the end of the 19th century, but now so many brewers mm. have brought back IPAs. So, I mean, this is your local beer. What do you well, it's fantastic. It is just packed full of fruit. Yeah. Um, as I said, Carmen Miranda hats, so those old films <laughs> with the, all the fruit in it, or a bowl with fruit in it that's been lying in the sun. And yeah. it's just that, it's fantastically aromatic. It's, yeah. as I say, it's... Based on um, Bridport IPA um, in the uh, northwest of America, yeah. where the head brewer, Roger Ryman, went and he tasted that and he thought, right, I'm going to have a go at this. And when he first, it's interesting, when he first brewed it, it was 5.5%. But this is more of a sort of sessionable 4.5%. Mm. Mm. I do like the 5.5 one as mm. well, though. Yeah. But um, <laughs> I think this is, yeah, it's a great beer, this is. It's a lovely beer. Yeah. And as well as those fantastic American hops, there's a lovely, mm. very juicy, sappy, oh. English malt mm. character from yeah. good old Marisotta yeah. barley. Yeah, bracing. It's really, yeah, yeah the backbone is yeah. gorgeous. And another beer star that's come back in a big way and is very much featured in our book is Porter mm. from the 18th century. And this was the big beer style of 18th and 19th centuries. Yeah. And this is Elland 1872 Porter from a Yorkshire. fantastic beer. Yeah. Absolutely complex. Yeah. Um, Oh yeah, I feel like I should be in a, an old library with Charles Dickens on my lap, yes. the book that is. <laughs> I mean, it is just so, you know, you've got leather, you've got fruit, yeah. sort of plums, yeah. cherry wood, mm. smoke, chocolate, you yeah. know, I mean, yeah. just drink it. Yeah, <laughs> it's espresso coffee with alcohol. Yeah, you? exactly, yeah. a breakfast beer. Mm. Mm. Tremendous range of beers. I mean, mm. we can only get a handful of the brewers exactly, yeah. with, in the book. Yeah. And there are so many, and perhaps it's going to be the start of a series, you never know. Who knows, yeah. <laughs> I mean, some of the brewers, yeah, they're all you, you had to make that great decision. Yeah. Oh, mm, sorry, you're not going to go in this one, yeah. but maybe you'll go in the next edition. <laughs> um, no, there's some great brewers there, yeah. you know. New ones, some of the great family brewers. Mm. I mean, it's a fantastic spread, and I've, I keep learning, yeah. as I said, yeah. while I'm writing. It's wonderful. And as well as learning, we have to drink. So I think yeah, they're, they're, they're I think, yeah. yeah. Have you got any money on you? <laughs> <laughs> You're around. <laughs>